and apparently the underwear today are biting on a size 16 pheasant tail. Imagine that. This is Nothing Nice Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. A group of friends located across the great state of Minnesota sharing their passion for the outdoors. Rain, snow, sleet or shine, we take you along as we pursue our passion and take our mission to heart. We can't always have the best gear, but what makes us successful is sheer dedication. Together, we call ourselves the Nothing Nice Outdoors Team. Follow us on Facebook and on the web at nothingniceoutdoors.com. Well, folks, here we are. Um, first end, end part of April here. Yeah, first part of May. And we are stream trout fishing. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful rainbows. Northern Minnesota around Bemidji area. Um, I'm going to show you today what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a caddis fly. There's a lot of them in the stream this time of year. They haven't hatched yet. So I'll give you a look at that real quick. And that's a size 14. Um, the other day we were out here fishing a little bit and we brought up a bunch of sticks and stuff getting snagged and a little stream restoration I guess you could call it. There's a lot of cast fly in here so I'll tie it up that little guy. Looks very similar to the natural ones that we had seen. With a little luck we'll get a few bites. All right, folks, what we have here is a, here's our rig. Got a nine foot, five weight fly rod. And we're fishing a nymph here. We got a strike indicator up above on the leader, about four foot up. We're sneaking up here on the bank. And we simply roll cast it up. <clears throat> Get all these twigs out of our way here. Let it drift on by. There we go. Here we are, folks. Drifted that through there several times and couldn't get him on the first couple. Oh, boys. Wish I had a net. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Perfect, perfect rainbow. We just switched over to a little scud. Um, we've got some fish in this pool. 
and they're surfacing kind of doing their thing we had a 16 pheasant tail on and it just wasn't quite doing it so we switched to this little scud Let's see if I can show you that here so we see a bunch of caddis flies emerging well there's kind of a nice little hatch going on here so we're going to try to match it a little bit a little pupa stage I don't really know what I'm talking about, but uh, we'll see if it works. Beautiful spot here. That is just a great stretch of trout stream. Got a lot of fish out of here already today. Um, we're just trying to finish up today and see if we can't get a couple more. Just uh, casted it out, stripping it in, and he liked the looks of it. That's good. That's fun. Well, folks, we just went to the streamer, and as you can see, that one liked it. Went to a little black cone-headed woolly booger, and he absolutely annihilated it. Little woolly booger there, little streamer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a weekend here. It has been an absolute ball. We've had a great couple of days of trout fishing, stream fishing here in northern Minnesota. Uh, probably ended up with about 40 to 50 fish total between the two of us in, in two days. Didn't fish all day either day. I'd say about eight, nine hours total. But uh, we got onto some cool bites. We had nymph going on all day. 
And then we got on here tonight in this little pool below these culverts here. And we had some awesome rising and some dry fly action. Last few minutes, the dry fly action has kind of subsided and we've switched to streamers. And uh, that produced a couple fish for us. It's been, it's been awesome. It's been great. So uh, we'll be back. We'll be back for sure.